in trouble. Whatever sorrow vests the mind, or guilt the soul oppress, Jesus who gave himself for you. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. These 14 steps that you are about to walk, you do not take alone. I am with you, we are truly one. And therefore, my way of the cross 2,000 years ago, and your own way now, are also one. Yet there is a difference. My life was incomplete until I crowned it with my death. Your 14 steps will not be complete until you crown them with your life. Lord Jesus, you walked this road of suffering even to your death. You did this for me. And yet, I have so often failed in love of you by my sins. Now I want to love you with all my heart and to turn away from everything that offends you. Pardon me, my God. Allow me to follow you on this journey. You went out to die for love of me. Give me the courage and the faith to be able to die for love of you. Whenever the right time comes, I want to live and die, always united to you. Amen. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. From the Holy Gospel according to St. John, Pilate sought to release him. But the Jews cried out, If you release this man, you are not Caesar's friend. Everyone who makes himself a king sets himself against Caesar. When Pilate heard these words, he brought Jesus out and said to the Jews, Here is your king. They cried out, Away with him! away with him crucify him pilate said to them shall i crucify your king the chief priests answered we have no king but caesar then he handed him over to them to be crucified in pilate's hands my friend i see my father's will it is true that Pilate is unjust, 
for it is the lawful governor, and he has power over me. And so the Son of God obeys a son of man. If I will bow down to Pilate's rule, this because this is my Father's will, can you refuse obedience to those whom I have placed over you? Lord Jesus, obedience costs you your life. For me it was an act of free no more. No more. And yet how hard it is this for me to bend. Remove the blinders from my eyes, that I may see that it is you whom I obey in all, who govern me. Lord, it is you. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The second station, Jesus carried his cross. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. From the Holy Gospel according to St. John. So they took Jesus and he went out bearing his own cross to the place of a skull, which is called in Hebrew, Golgotha. This cross, this trunk of tree is what my father chose for me. The crosses you must bear are largely products of your daily life, your weakness, dissatisfaction, insufficiency. And yet my father, your father chose them too for you. Receive them from his hands. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I, I take, take my daily cross. cross. I welcome the monotony, discomfort of all kinds, my disappointments, tensions, setbacks, fears, worries, all of them. I accept them. Remind me often that in carrying my cross, I am carrying yours with you. Grant us your help, O Lord. Grant us your help. True heart is all sharing. All his bitter anguish bearing. Now art left the sword has passed. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. From the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I turned not backward. I gave my back to the smiters, and my cheeks to those who pulled on my beds. I did not hide my face from shame and spitting, for the Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been confounded. The God who made the universe and holds it in existence, the God who directs the movement of the cosmos, this God is at man too weak to bear a piece of timber. That is the will of my Father. I could not be your model otherwise. If you would be my older self, you also must accept without complaint your human limitations. Lord Jesus, how can I refuse? I really accept 
set my weakness, irritation and my moods, my headaches and fatigues, my difficulties in work and home, all my defects of body, mind and soul, these handicaps of my humanity are your way for me. I accept them gladly. After your fall, you pick yourself up. Now pick me up, Lord. Grant us your help, O Lord. Grant us your help, O Lord, sad and so distressed. Was that mother I The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. From the prophecy of Simeon. Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising of many in Israel, and for a sign that is spoken against, and a sword will pierce through your own soul also, that thoughts out of many hearts may be revealed. My mother sees me whipped. She sees me kicked and driven like a beast. She sees me disgraced, but she did not alter a word of protest or complaint. She shares my martyrdom. Lord Jesus, it is harder to watch the pains of those who love than to bear our own pains. To carry my cross after you, I too must stand and watch the sorrows of my dear ones. I must watch the poverty of my people. Your tattered clothes, malnutrition, no water, no electricity, and what is more, yes. let's hope for the future, and I must let them watch mine too. I do believe, for those who love you, all things work together unto good, they must. Come to our aid, O Lord. Come to She beneath me owns the pants of our dying glorious song. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. From the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. And they compelled a passerby, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. I am physically weak. I can no longer bear the cross alone. So they compel Simon to help me. And indeed, he helps me. Why not you two lift the body from another's back? Each time you do that, you lift the cross's awful weight that crushes me. Lord. Make me realize that each time I pick up an object off the floor, assist my colleagues in some small task, each time I lend my hand in any way, it matters not to whom. My name is Simon, and the kindness I extend to them, I really give to you. Have mercy on us, O Lord.
the Sith station. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. From the prophet Isaiah, who has believed what we have heard, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a young plant and like a root out of dry ground he had no form or comeliness that we should look at him and no beauty that we should desire him he was despised and rejected by men a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief and as one from whom men hide their faces. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Can you be brave enough to wipe my bloody face? Raise your face, you may ask me, and I will answer every way. At home, whenever eyes fill up with tears, at work, in the classroom, when tensions rise, on playgrounds, in the remote and dirty villages, the courts, the hospitals, the jails, wherever suffering exists, my face is there, and there I look to you to wipe away my blood and tears. Lord, this is hard. It needs courage and self-sacrifice. It is an uncomfortable job, but I will not run away from it. Come and act in me, and not in me alone. In all men, so that we may reveal not your glory, but your glorious face on earth. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Refrain from taking in our pain. In that mother's pain untold. The seventh station. Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. From the prophet Isaiah, Surely he has borne our grief and carried all our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that made us whole. And with his stripe, we are healed. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. This seventh step, my older self, is one that tests your will. From this fall, learn to persevere in doing good. Never say, I can't go on. Come to me and I will give you rest. Trust me and carry on. Difficulties remain difficult, Lord. The rain really oppresses heavily on me, and I am desolate, discouraged. Stretch out your hand to lift me up. Alone there is nothing I can do. With you I can do all things I will. Come to I do. Lord, come to our aid. Rose, divide it 
ghostly fight She beheld a tender child All its glory God is the eighth station jesus consoles the women of jerusalem we adore you christ and we praise you from the holy gospel according to saint luke and there followed him a great multitude of people and of women who bewailed and lamented him but jesus turning to them said daughters of jerusalem do not weep for me but weep for yourselves and for your children for behold the days are coming when you will say blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never gave suck. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? How often have I longed to gather my children into one communion with me but they refuse and now these women weep for me i mourn for them and their sorrows that will come my older self you can really be more gentle you too can be kind lord teach me help me to learn when i will snap at those who hurt me with their ridicules those who me those who I think hinder my progress with some misguided helpfulness, those who intrude upon my privacy, those who restrict my freedom and liberty, them help me to hold my tongue, the gentleness become my cloth. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. So spirit The ninth station Jesus falls the third time we adore you, Christ, and we praise you. From the prophet Isaiah. By oppression and judgment, he was taken away. And as for his generation, who considered that he was cut off out of the land of the living, stricken for the transgression of my people? And they made his grave with the wicked and with a rich man in his death. Although he had done no violent action and there was no deceit in his mouth, yet it was the will of the Lord to bruise him. He has put him to grief. When he makes himself an offering for sin, he shall see his offspring. He shall prolong his days and the will of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. I have fallen down again completely drained of strength. My body cannot move, and yet my will is mine, and so is yours. My old self, this one thing is certain. Your body may be broken, but no force on earth and none in hell can take away your will. 
your will is yours. My Lord, after a moment's rest, I can do the same because my will is mine. When all my strength is done, and guilt and self-reproach press me to earth and seem to hold me fast, when I am pressed down by the consideration that I am a holy race, protect me from the sin of Judas, save me from despair, Lord, never let me feel that any sin of mine is greater than your love. No matter what my past has been, I can begin anew. Have mercy on our soul, Lord. Have mercy on us, O Thou Mother, fount of love. Touch my spirit from above. With thy the tenth station, Jesus is stripped. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. From the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his garments and made four parts, one for each soldier, also his tunic. But the tunic was without seam, woven from top to bottom. So they said to one another, let us not tear it, but cast lots for it to see whose it shall be. This was to fulfill the scripture. They parted my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. Behold the poorest king that ever lived. Before the creatures of my own hand I stand stripped. The cross, my deathbed, is not even my own. Possessing nothing, I own all. I own my father's love. You too own everything, so do not worry about your food, your clothes, your life. Lord, strip me from the gravy, from prestige position, wealth and privileges. Root out of me all traces of envy of my neighbors, who has more than I. Release me from the vice of pride, my longing to exalt myself. Teach me that there is something called humility and yeah. in spirit, Lord. Come to our aid, O Lord. Come to our aid. Make me feel as thou hast felt. Make my soul to Station. Jesus is crucified. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. From the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. There they crucified him, and with him two others one on either side and Jesus between them. Pilate also wrote a title and put it on the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. My executioners pressed the nail into my hand until it stabbed my flesh. Then a heavy hammer blow smashed 
and pain exploded like a bomb of fire in my brain. Then they seized my other arm and my legs, and each time agony again exploded, all for you. My God, am I worth all this? What can I give you in return? Yeah, you know, I said the rest of my life. Whatever sickness, torment, agony that you come to me, you suffer to be my redeemer. I will suffer to be a co-redeemer of my fellow men. Give us your help, O Lord. Give us your help, Holy Mother, yes, me true. In my heart, each wound renewed. Oh, my Savior, crucified. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, o Christ, and we praise you. From the Holy Gospel according to Saint John, that the scriptures might be fulfilled. Jesus said, I thirst. A bowl of vinegar stood there. So they put a sponge of vinegar on his up and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Now the cross has become a pulpit. Listen to the good news I proclaim from it. Forgive them, Father. You will be with me in paradise. There is your mother. There your son. I thirst. It is complete. Forgive us our sins, O oh Lord. Forgive us our sins. Let me share with thee his pain. Oh, for all my sins was slain. Oh, Thirteen station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, o Christ, and we praise you. From the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. After this, Joseph of Arimathea, who was a disciple of Jesus, but secretly, for fear of the Jews, asked Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus, and Pilate gave him leave. So he came and took away his body. 
Nicodemus also, who had at first come to him by night, came bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about a hundred pounds weight. The sacrifice is done. Yes, my mass is complete, but not my mother's and not yours. Those you love will part, will part from you, and grief will come to you. You too will die one day, a day you do not know. Are you prepared for it? Lord, Lord help me to accept the parties that must come from friends who go away, and most of all, my dear ones, when I shall come to eternal life, help me to get ready so that the day, day whenever it comes, will not be a shock to me. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Let me be the tears with station Jesus is buried we adore you Christ and we praise you from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John they took the body of Jesus and bound it in linen clothes with the spices as is the burial custom of the Jews. Now in the place where he was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden, a new tomb, where no one has ever been laid. So because of the Jewish day of preparation, as the tomb was close at hand, they laid Jesus there. So ends my mortal life. But now another life begins for Mary and for Magdalene, for Peter and John, for you. My work as man is done. My work within and through the church must now commence. I look to you. You are my friend. You are my apostle. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, it, it is, is hard, hard to be your, your apostle. The program, the program is tough. You, you have, have completed, completed your work. work. What is left is mine, that, that of my fellow men, that, that of your church. The teachings you could not impart, let us impart. The sufferings you could not bear, let us bear. The work of love you could not do, in the short life on earth, let us do. All to you, for you are all in all. Come to it, O Lord. Remember what I told you at the beginning, when you joined me on the way of my cross, I said, my life was incomplete until I crowned it with my death. Your 14 steps will not be complete until you crown them with your life. Accept each moment that comes to you with faith and trust. All that happens to you has my mark on it. Seek me not in far away places. I am very close to you. The office, your desk, the home, the playground. These are altars where you offer love, and I am there with you. 
I want you to live your life. So now, take up your cross and follow me. For the intentions of the Holy Father, the Pope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, of the grace, Lord is with you. The Lord is blessed with are you among men, and blessed, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Holy Mary Mother, of Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Ache Domine Ache Populo Tsuo Naina Tenum Iraska Jesus Christ who was scourged because of us, who carried his cross, and who was nailed to the cross for our sake, bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.